Hey everyone, it's Mr. Veve, and this lesson is on human reproduction. So let's get right into it with our first key concept. Body systems work together to carry out reproduction. And we'll look at which individual systems work together towards the end of this video. But first, let's talk about the difference between males and females here. The male reproductive system serves two functions. They produce sperm cells and deliver those sperm cells to the female reproductive system so they can combine with the ovum in order to produce a zygote. Now you see the sperm cell on the bottom right there where the head of the sperm has the DNA in it and there's also a, a lot of enzymes there that help it break through the uh, ovum as well. The mitochondria in the mid piece help give the sperm energy and the tail ha helps it propel through the female reproductive system. Now this is a sagittal section. This is where you cut the body in half this way and look at it from the side. And you can just see all the different organs involved uh, in the male reproductive system. Notice where the bladder is and the testes and the vas deferens, which t uh, takes the sperm from the testes all the way through. Okay, so uh, speaking of sperm production in the testes, it's controlled by hormones. Now, in case you forgot, the uh, sperm are produced through going through meiosis one and meiosis two. So uh, one cell is going to end up becoming four sperm in this case. The hormones that are involved, the abbreviations that you see there, are uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, and luteinizing hormone. Now it's not important to know exactly what these do, I just thought it might be a nice thing to include here. So females, the function of their uh, reproductive system is to produce egg cells, uh, or ova, that's plural, ovum is singular, and they provide a place for the zygote to develop, and that's within the uterus. So here's another sagittal section of the female reproductive system. You notice the uterus in the middle there, that is where implantation occurs and an embryo grows to maturity. Uh, and you can notice uh, uh, in the sagittal section above that you see the fallopian tube and the ovary, but in reality we'll see another picture. Um, it looks a lot different when you look at it from a different angle. So the way eggs are um, made, they mature and they're released according to hormonal cycles. We'll look at that cycle in just a second, but basically, again, these are gametes which are uh, produced by meiosis, meiosis one and two. So if you see this, this is a more a frontal view of the uterus with a fallopian tube and an ovary. There is another fallopian tube and ovary on the right side, but just to kind of get an idea, the eggs are produced in the ovaries and then they are sent through the fallopian tube and it takes about five to seven days for them to get to the uterus where um, if they are fertilized, they will implant. If they are not, they will just go right through uh, in the menstrual cycle. So here's an overview of the menstrual cycle. It looks really confusing, but the important part is what's going on up on, on the top is the follicle or the egg maturing as it goes through. And then the spike in all the different hormones is on the bottom. Now, if you notice, this is a 28 day cycle. The menstrual cycle is 28 days long. Um, now, the spike of estrogen and luteinizing hormone right before day 14, right before the middle of the cycle, that's what causes an egg to be released or that's called ovulation. And then what happens is you slowly have an increase in progesterone, which helps build up that lining of the uterus to prepare for implantation. And if implantation doesn't occur, those levels of progesterone fall off, as do estrogen a little bit, and then the, uh, the non-fertilized egg is washed away uh, at the end of the menstrual cycle. So reproduction just in general. Fertilization occurs when a sperm cell joins with an egg cell. We know this. The sperm gets into the egg by releasing some enzymes uh, that break down that outer layer. So here are the systems interactions of the reproductive system. So obviously the reproductive system creates and releases those gametes. The endocrine system is responsible for releasing those hormones and controlling the maturation of sex organs and gametes. The circulatory system transports hormones where they need to go and it also uh, transports nutrients to a developing fetus. And then finally there's the muscular system which actually um, helps the sperm travel through the female reproductive system and it actually aids in birth by causing contractions of the uterus to push the, the uh, fetus out.